What do we have, mom? We have a shrimp, mm -hmm. sausage, sausage, pineapple, and veggie. Oh, wow. Wow. Delicious. <laughs> Welcome back to another vlog and thank you guys so much for watching. This vlog has been a little different from most um, just in terms of the fact that this week's been different, that I'm obviously not in Chicago and I'm sorry that this is the first time that I've really had to sit down and talk and chat with you. I've just kind of thrown y'all into what's been going on in my world this week. But basically I have been here in Houston for the past week now. I came mostly to see my nephew who is three months old. This is our first time meeting because of everything with the coronavirus. My brother and his wife are moving to New York and so we decided that it was time for me to come down and you know just get a chance to meet him before they move and things get even crazier for them. I just thought I'd stay a little longer since I made the trip and visit with my mom and my stepdad and my grandparents. So that's kind of the reason why I'm here in Texas. Tyler, as you saw, came in for the weekend. He flew in also to get to meet um, my nephew, Henry. And yeah, I'm gonna be here for the next two days and then I'll be back in Chicago. As great as it's been visiting with family, I am really, really looking forward to being back to Chicago and getting back to normal. It has obviously been a very, very, exhausting week with the election. That has just felt so strange not being in what I consider to be my home now, which is Chicago, and to be here with my family in my old room from when I was a kid. So it's just been a bizarre experience. I hope that you're all doing well and getting what you need this week, whether that be rest, a break from social media, a good book, some poetry, a good meal, a warm hug. Yeah, I just hope that you guys are all doing well. I think that's all I have to say for now. <laughs> if not, you need to, that's what your account needs to be named. <laughs> yes. First I was enjoying it, but now I'm, I'm ready for some seasonal weather. Chicago. 
Chicago. Feels so good to be home. The cats seem to have not noticed that I had gone anywhere in the first place. Right, isn't that right, Cleo? You didn't even notice I was gone, did you? Yep. successfully unpacked and showered and cleaned. Now I'm gonna make some dinner. Um, I'm thinking I am probably gonna just make a bibimbap rice bowl. I didn't really get to cook much when I was at home and so I just miss cooking. This will be good because it's already, um, I was gonna say it's already kind of late. It's 5.15. Well, it's already kind of late guys and um, anyway, I thought that the, uh, you know, a bibimbap bowl would be a quick, and satisfying meal. Sorry for my phone that just rang in the middle of that. fried rice and I'm gonna crack, sorry for all the noise, I'm gonna crack an egg on top and call it breakfast. sun in our apartment you know as it gets colder and the sun gets lower it's actually right in line with where our windows start so the sun basically heats up our apartment all day and then in the evenings it does get chilly just since we have a lot of windows in the living room but I've really just been enjoying it so much Today, just gonna be scanning some film, editing some photos. several things while I was in Texas and they kind of all showed up today so I thought it would be fun to do a little bit of an unboxing with you guys I don't have a ton I just have three boxes but this first one is from Glossier I get their boy brow eyebrow gel and um, their mascara I'm very excited about these The brand is called Maison Louis Marie and they make, uh, I think mostly perfumes, but they also have a candle line of all of their different scents. And I just really, really love this one. This original candle was first gifted to me by my friend 
two years ago and I just loved the way that it smelled so much. A lot of the times I don't even burn this for very long. I just kind of have it sitting out and I feel like it smells the house in like a very nice diluted softer way. I got two of these candles. I think that they're gonna last me at least a year um, if not more and oh, just smells so good. I wish that I could share the smell with you guys, but it's number four. It's there. If you go online and see, they have every um, scent of theirs is named and then like numbered. And so this one is number four. Anyways, I just thought with it being colder out and you know, winter time and the holidays, it'd be cozy to have a couple nice candles around the apartment. Okay, and my last package, So my last package is from Orosa. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I have basically not done my nails all of quarantine. And then one day last week, I was like, I really want to do my nails. I really want to have my nails done. I thought it would be worth the effort of buying nail polish colors that I actually am excited about and getting to give myself a little pampering at home. So I'm really excited about these colors. They're all in like the warm nudes. I would say, I think I will do, I will paint my nails tonight. Anyway, that's it. It's just those three packages. Um, but still, always exciting when you get something fun in the mail. morning everyone still in the same outfit I've been wearing for like three days now but look how cute my nails turned out I'm very happy with them look at Cleo short walk today she wanted to come in really yeah. is it too cold I think so. <laughs> I know, she's in my frame. I normally don't do all of these different colors, but I thought that it was fun and I'm excited to continue giving myself manicures at home. Chicago is taking um, restrictions pretty seriously, which is a good thing. And uh, yeah, I, it just feels like we're going back into lockdown. So, and especially for me and Tyler who have recent, recently been traveling, we're really not going anywhere. Thank you guys so much for watching and for following along. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I know that it was very scattered um, just between traveling and a very heavy and exhausting week given that there was an election and you know just everything going on uh, yeah I appreciate you guys and I hope that you are doing well and taking care of yourself and I'll see you next week